Hello and welcome to this brief video on dividing algebraic terms. So let's go straight into the examples that we have here. We've got 3x and we're dividing it by x. And I'm just going to briefly say that all we need to do is that we look at the number terms first, any we have at the top and the bottom, and divide those first. And then we look at each variable let in turn. So we divide the x's, if there's any y's, divide those, etc. So let's think about, we've got 3 at the top first, and we're dividing it by what? Well, we could implicitly put a 1 at the bottom, x is the same as 1x. And then we just say, well, what is 3 divided by 1? Well, it's just 3. And then we look at the x's. If we divide x by x, what happens? Well, they effectively cancel. If I said, what's 10 divided by 10? That's just 1, isn't it? If I divide x by x, that's just 1. And we don't need to put that because 3 times 1 is just 3. So they cancel and it kind of disappears. What about the next one? We've got uh, 4y divided by 4. So let's do this more quickly this time. We first do the number terms divided by each other. 4 divided by 4 is just 1. I'll put 1 there, and then y divided by, we haven't got anything there, so we still have that y there. So we just have 1y, or we could just write that as y. And that sort of makes sense. If you have four lots of y, and you split it into four, then each person would get one lot of y. So you just have y. What about 3? We've got 6x divided by 2. So the 6 divided by 2 is just 3. And then you've got the x at the top, you're not dividing it by anything, so it stays as x. You get 3x. And that makes sense. If you do 6x divided by 2, you're effectively halving 6x, and half of 6x is 3x. So that's right. What about the fourth one? We got 8xy divided by 4. Well, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and we've still got both the x and the y, so it'd be 2 lots of xy. What about 5? We have 15xy divided by 3y. Now, there's more going on here. Let's divide the numbers first. We've got 15 divided by 3 is 5. x divided by, well, there's nothing there, so it's still x. And we've got y divided by y. They cancel. If you want, you can put a cross through them because they cancel each other out. We're effectively in top and bottom is fraction by uh, y, and that just disappears. So it's going to be 5x. What about 6? We have um, 8x squared divided by 2. And don't be upset by the fact that the x is being squared. It just stays as x squared. But we know that 8 divided by 2 is 4. x squared divided by, well, there's no x at the bottom, so it just stays as x squared. Now, 7, this is where it gets more interesting. So we've got x squared y divided by xy. Now, we need to do x squared divided by x. Now, to help you see what happens there, we could always write this out explicitly, what's being multiplied together. Now, x squared means x times x, doesn't it? So I'm just going to write x twice. And then we've got xy at the bottom. So we've got this x divided by x. They cancel, but we still have that x left at the top. And these y's cancel. One of those y's cancel. And then effectively, all we've got left now at the top is x. And it's, we've got nothing left that we're dividing by, so it's just x. What about 8? I've got more similar to this. I've got 24a squared b squared over 6ab squared. Now let's do it without writing them out explicitly this time. We first divide the numbers. We've got 24 divided by 6 is 4. Now we've got a squared divided by a. So if a squared means a times a, but we're dividing by one of those a's, we're just left with a single a left, aren't we? And if you were to write it out twice, you'd have a a at the top and an a at the bottom, and you can cross out one of those a's to leave an a at the top. And then b squared divided by b squared, well, that just completely cancels, doesn't it? Because they're the same and we're just left with 4a. What about 9? We've got 3xy squared over 3y. Now we need to multiply this out first. What 3xy squared means is 3xy times 3xy. So if we write it like that, that simplifies to, well, 3 times 3 is 9 x times x is x squared, and we saw this in a previous video on multiplying algebraic terms. y times y is y squared, and we're dividing it by 3y. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. x squared divided by, well, there's nothing there, so it stays as x squared. And then y squared divided by y, you could think of that as y times y, and dividing by one of those y's, that leaves a single y left. And then I want you to do these two test your understanding questions here. So we've got this first one which is 20mn divided by 5m. And then this second one, which is harder, is 
we've got 4x cubed times y squared over 2x squared y. So you may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at those. Right, let's have a go at these. Well, we've got 20 divided by 5, which is 4. m divided by m, they cancel. And then we've got n, and we're not dividing by any n, so it's just 4n. And now this second one, I'm running out of space here. Um, let's simplify it first. So we've got 4x cubed. That means 4x times 4x times 4x. Well, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And x times x times x is x cubed. But we've also got this y squared here that we're timesing it by. And the bottom we had 2x squared y. Now let's see what cancels. We've got 64 divided by 2 is 32. We've got x cubed divided by x squared. So that's x times x times x. And you're getting rid of two of those x's. So you're going to be left with one of those x's left. And then y squared divided by y, that is just y. So the answer is 32xy. Well done if you got that right.